people welcome back to another video and today we're looking at if edison was to leave manchester city what are our options is it panic mode or not uh, before we get into it though do us a favor hit the like button subscribe channel if you are new so rumors are flying around about edison in this window it's going off left right and center it's all about edison leaving there's rumors that he wants to go there's the cash that Al Nasser are willing to pay for Edison. £60 million over the course of two seasons is an insane amount of money. So I can understand why he'd like to leave because that's big ball of cash when you've won everything at City. Uh, but I'm still holding out hope that he stays. Um, the, the, the most recent update we have on this is that um, the current negotiators are off. Al Nasser have offered a measly €30 million Euros for Edison, which is an insanely low amount for someone of his quality. Now, it all makes it different if Edison wants to leave because City don't like keeping players that don't want to be here. So I'm not sure what price tag we'll be looking at, maybe like £60 to £70 million. Pound. Uh, but what happens if he leaves and what are City's options? So firstly, the most obvious option out there is to just go get a replacement. Just go get a replacement and then we're sound. Um, now, to get that replacement is, is, is difficult because it depends on what level of replacement you're going to go for. Are you going to go get a backup goalkeeper and promote Ortega, uh, which is basically the next option, or... Are you going to go get a number one? Just like for like, replace Edison. Now, like for like is, is a very loose term because Edison is very, very good with his feet. I think he's probably the best ball-playing goalkeeper in world football. Um, so it's difficult. It's difficult because you're not going to go get Edison too. Uh, I think we've been very fortunate that we've got Stefan Ortega, who's very, very good and, and fit in very well. So rumours are basically more like maybe, maybe dream buys, but then... If Edison was to leave, apparently we're looking at um, Jogo Costa, uh, Portuguese. Obviously, he did really well in the Euros. Could go and get him. I think after the Euros as well, I think his stocks are up quite a bit. So I think he'd cost quite a lot of money. Hence why I think that if City are going to sell Edison, we'll try and make most of the value, like 60, 70 million to go straight back onto another goalkeeper like a Diogo Costa. He's option one. Um, and then the second option I've seen is Mike Minan. Uh, now, White Man had a very good goalkeeper. Obviously, he played pretty much... I think he played all the games for France. Um, he's the other option. Seen him quite a bit. I think he's a very good goalkeeper. I think it's one that um, we've been speaking about quite a lot. And even a few seasons ago... People were saying if Edison was to ever leave, we'd like to get Mike Mine. And when people call him Edison Everson, um, and when he, he made a few mistakes, people was genuinely talking about replacing him with Mike Mine. So that's the first option, really. Going for a proper number one goalkeeper from somewhere and guaranteeing them that number one spot at Manchester City. But option number two is a bit more risky. Stefan Ortega, obviously we know he's been at the football club now for a year. He's, been, he's, he's done bits. He's done bits. Deserves to be in this football team. He deserves to be number one. He, I, I, I've said plenty of times he's the, he's the best second choice goalkeeper in world football. He deserves to be a number one. He deserves that number one spot um, at a football club. Is that football club Manchester City? I'm not sure. But I do think he's the easiest option of the two because he can just seamlessly go into that number one. He, he, he's been here before. He knows the Pep system. He knows what expected of him he's very good with his feet not as good as Edison but still very good and an incredible shot stopper and I think people would say that he's a better shot stopper than Edison um, he's shown this season uh, just gone why why he deserves to be number one you know what I mean he's he's so good so 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 good so Ortega to be our number one we've spoke about this on live streams and some people don't like the idea of Ortega being number one uh, they want to go and get a replacement but I'm a bit more open to the idea of Ortega being number one I know how crucial Edison is to our build up and I know the loss that we get if we let Edison go I understand that but if we was to put ourselves in the position of Edison leaving there's nothing we can do about that and Ortega is the natural fit on the basis that he's already played in this pep system we know what to expect as fans we know what to expect from him there's that trust that we have there I think Ortega will take that number one spot should Edison leave now what where, where does that put City um, I don't think we're gonna <laughs> as much as I'd love to I don't think that we're gonna give Scott Carson the actual second choice spot. 
Uh, I don't I don't think that's going to happen as much as I'd love to see Scott Carson playing uh, Champions League football or just playing any games, to be honest. Uh, that's not going to happen. So I think we'd have to then go and get uh, maybe a, another young goalkeeper, a young up-and-coming uh, coming prospect, someone like that from somewhere. But then you're looking at more of a second choice then as opposed to going with the first option of buying a first choice goalkeeper to outright uh, replace Edison. I think the, that's the route that City will go down. Uh, the Diogo Costa and Mike Minan, I think that's a, that's a very good idea. Uh, I like the idea of that. Do you know I mean, I, th I think it'd be good to go get a star city goalkeeper. Then we've got two again, two incredible goalkeepers. But at the same time, I, I think it's, it's it'll be difficult. It'd be difficult to do that. Now, I'll tell you guys, obviously, staying um, New Deal and that. So I think he becomes number one. And we go and get, basically, um, a second-choice goalkeeper. So I'm going to leave it to you guys in the comment section below. Who's that second-choice goalkeeper? Who do you want, if if Ortega was to be our number one goalkeeper next season, who do you want as our second choice goalkeeper? Could be an experienced goalkeeper, could be someone like um, a young prospect, basically, with the future, the vision of one day overtaking Ortega, and you've got that longevity in there then, which I think is, is nice to think about the future, so you don't keep running into these situations where players are going to leave. But let me know in the comment section below, what keeper are you going to sign if Edison leaves Manchester City? See you in the next one. <laughs>